Hello friends, I'm Kathy Rhodes with Unity Consulting, where we grow people and develop leaders. I've been talking to a lot of friends that are making this transition, working from home, and they're commenting and saying, gosh, I just, I don't have work to do. I'm finding that I'm kind of bored. And my thought is, is why, why would we be bored just because we changed the, the environment? Is there not as much work to do as there is when we're in the office? Is it a motivation thing? Is it an accessibility thing? We're not able to access the people that we need. You know, regardless of what it is, I, that has to be figured out. But also consider all those projects that you've been putting off to the side, putting onto the back burner. I'll, I'll work on that when I have time. Okay, you have time. <laughs> and maybe it's a research project. Maybe it's, it's checking out some new piece of technology. You know, learning the technology and kind of digging in deep so that you can, you can, you can train it to other people and you truly can use it. Uh, maybe it is reading certain materials so that you can really dig in and become, become that expert. Or maybe it's the decision that you're going to end up making that, that you don't need that technology or you don't need that, that materials. Whatever it is, it takes time. It takes time to read, to research, to analyze, to make our, our lists. Go ahead and, and make time for those projects that you'll be really glad you did. And you know, something that I found... <laughs> when I did, when I do these projects, they don't take as long as my procrastination took me. <laughs> you know, the research on the technology, once you get into it, maybe an hour or two, and you really can dive deep into it to get a good handle on what it is. And what I'm loving is a lot of technologies, online technologies, they're offering free trials and the trials I'm finding are extended. It's not just a free week or free two weeks, it's a free month. So now is a great time to really dig in, but make sure you keep notes on what you're signing up for and what you're, you're in trial mode for so that the time doesn't run out so that you can continue to put a little bit of time into it every day. Now be careful of time wasters, Facebook, social media, LinkedIn is not, is not exempt from this. These are time wasters. You know, it's amazing how much time as I scroll, 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 I realize, wow, that was a half hour. I could have done five videos in a half hour, you know, so, so stay on track of um, truly the projects that you want to work on and stay away from the time wasters. Email is a time waster. Minimize email, turn off those little annoying inter interruptions that come up, those notifications. There's nothing that says you have to be on the ball. And you know what? Not all of us are working eight to five right now. We're working six to 10 and four to eight. So, the, the interrupters, we will make time to do our email. We'll get back all at one time and then we'll move on to another project. Don't let that email be such a time waster. You know, some other time wasters that I find when I'm in my home setting is organizing my files or organizing my desk or, oh, time wasters, time wasters, time wasters. Make sure you know what your top priority of the day is, what your top action is that you need to do. Make sure you write it down and keep yourself focused. I know and understand that you need some things to, to kind of give your brain a break once in a while. Okay. But give yourself a time frame for email and a time frame for social media notifications, and then go back to the project at hand. So you have a very productive day. Be great. You're a leader. You're developing into an even stronger leader with these trials that we have in front of us. I'm so glad that you trust me to be able to share some more tips with you. See you tomorrow.